Hello and welcome back to Here's My Magic 3, The Shadow of Death. We're still yogging it up, but hopefully, since it is going to be a new week, we will be able to finish this scenario sometime soon. Also, this place has a fort. I could build it up to a citadel. Would it help? A bit. I don't think it would help enough though. And I don't think it will help any if I run away. That said, I will lose Tarek. It is also the last chance to buy Shua. I'm going to lose Tarek, which is seemingly likely. Probably that would be useful in this place. Shiva does have a lot of attacks, so might as well. Right, now it's back to Gretchen. Okay, and also let's split these ogres. they don't have something like a fireball, that would be pretty bad. Oh, that's a great place for a breach. Something, but not a whole lot. They do move nine, though. However, I don't remember if these guys move first or those. If they attack first, they are going to murder everyone. So should I attack them preemptively? They're likely to lose one ogre mage. Probably not. Because it doesn't really matter if I take out an overmage. I need to get rid of the wolf raiders. but I feel like attacking these hobgoblins is a better idea. So I will be able to do more damage that way. Now, 57, that's not going to be easy to deal with, whereas the goblins are pretty straightforward. Okay, that's really rude. Mm, 
probably should have moved more. Ah, but I can still do that. They decide to move upwards. I can have Shiva run away very fast. For that, however, I should get more rocks so that I can boost. I could, in theory, also go get something else, but if I'm going to go that way, I will go through the overfort one way or another, so it doesn't matter. What I can do, however, is... Actually, I could upgrade the cliff nest. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. Upgrades at this point will be useful, because the only thing I need to fight now is this stone. And I win automatically once I get there. Okay, so far so good. There we go, Thunderbirds. And bought everything out. And now upgrading the Wolf Raiders would be really nice, but I don't have the ability to. The Orcs. Or I could do the Goblins. But whatever I try to do, I will only have 275, and that's not going to be enough to do anything. So I'm not going to bother them. And however, going to leave Goblin. Now, now that the exit is here, but I need make sure that I'm not missing anything. This hero is not going to get there in time, so she can stay here until she gets more troops. And of course, they're going in. Several, several back, lots back. And there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Hmm. That's not useful. I'm not seeing anything here. So go up. Even if I lose all towns, I don't really care much. They seem to have gone downwards, so maybe I'm fine with 
with this. Some people are back here. Then I can use Shiva to take some of these sounds. Everything has been bought out except for everything from here, which I can do. I guess I might as well. Then try to somehow send them to my main hero. Or use them to take back some of these towns. This is annoying. And that's just a fort, so it really doesn't matter. Let's replace dogs with dogs. Can I deal with this guy? Yes, I'm pretty sure I can. But I might just be able to win outright here. <laughs> no. Is I will take that. Uh, yeah, nothing I can do here. But it's nice that they're wasting their troops rather than defending the one town that matters. Humans, how's it going? Yes, those are a loss of ancient behemoths, so this is still technically a worthwhile path. Now, uh, what do they have here? Something. Well, let's try it. Seven, seven, eight, seven. I do have pretty good troops, and they're not super fast, so I should be okay. Okay. Doesn't use me a target. That's nice. Alright, who is going to attack first? Probably these guys. Oh. Oh. That doesn't matter. Oh, that helps. Oh. That's actually pretty nice, too. Uh, I 
could take out quite a few of ancient behemoths if I do that. Well, these guys will not be able to get to my Cyclopes anyway. I will destroy... I want to destroy these guys though. Six, nine. Oh, yeah, let's do this. I need to attack first before they attack me. Six dollars, ouch. Yeah, I need to attack these guys. Nice. And then I will go first, so I will be able to destroy those. Really? So now the question is, do I want to attack these guys? I say Clovis might have a straight shot at them as well. Or, it is also likely that I will get... Well, so I'm going to stay put for now. Vacate the premises. Ha ha ha! Excellent. And now I can just take them out. Wow. That was kind of surprising. I'm glad it worked. And I really don't need this. Journal Entry 11. I would think that my being this close to the capital would attract Winston Baragas' attention. Well, I'm not just going to sit here while they prepare an attack. I'm going to make this barbarian pay for duping me. Okay. You do that. I'm guessing that there's going to be an event here. So that it's not as easy as it looks. Meanwhile, they're just in the town. They're trying to attack it. Probably if I can get the Cyclopes from here. Oh, I don't have the space for them. Can she help? Not quite. Day five. I could dismiss something like these Dendroid soldiers. Let's see how many of them are there. Two. It is better than three Dendroid soldiers, especially with regards to morale. I definitely don't want the enemies to get it, so let's do this. Awesome. Technically, I can go there if they don't go inside. And technically, it might be easier to take this out. Right, that the, the castle doesn't do that much difference. I don't know if it does or not. Or I might just end before everything else happens. Oh, I have a single town left, but that is okay. Yeah, yeah. They did indeed go inside. Okay. Expect that outcome at all. Also, they upgraded all their humans to ancient ones. 
but they still don't have enough funds to really capitalize on that. And for that matter, they have no range troops. That means I am going on the defensive. And the arrow towers are not at all confident in their abilities. And for that matter, I don't need to destroy any of the wall segments, so let's just try to destroy their keep. No dice. I don't think it will help you if you try to attack the goblins. Well, that's kind of rude. Ah, that's kind of rude. We should stop that. We should really stop that. Now? Away. That just makes things easier for me. Okay. Congratulations, you captured Ulgak and are victorious. Hmm. A tough start. That's interesting, isn't this the Talia? You left the meeting with Baragas in a very happy mood. Wanting to prove yourself, you hurry off to Natalia to deliver the first two pieces of the armor of the Angelic. That's not a thing. At first you thought this would be an easy task. You would walk into the town... Into town? <sighs> like, really? How can you miss typos like that? In a game like this? Huh. And give the first two pieces of the Angelic Alliance to Alandora. After a few days' ride from the border, you discover that Italians aren't going to make it that easy for you. Hmm. Angelic Alliance. That sounds pretty interesting. I guess... Back in the day, it was supposed to be the armor of the Andorian? And then it was changed into the Angelic Alliance. Hmm. Take the Sandals of the Saint and the Armor of Wonder to Elendora to win the scenario. If you are defeated in combat, or you lose either component of the Angelic Lands, the scenario is lost. Oh. Interesting. Level 18. I got the Ring of the Wayfarer, which is plus to movement. 1,500 gold or 10 wood. Movement is really good with Yog. That said, I might get those artifacts on my own and this will become irrelevant down the line. But it's just so good, I don't think I want anything else. When I confronted Winston Baragas, he admitted to setting Krulad's armies against me to test my worthiness to join them. At first, I was angry at this deception, until the Duke pointed out that it was I who wanted to be a fighter. The barbarian within me saw his point. But Baragas has a test designed to see whether I am truly ready to part with the Wizards of Bracada. I must take the magical Angelic Alliance sword, break it apart, and distribute the pieces throughout Titalia, Arathia, and Bracada. So, fun fact. 
Bragas is the Latin name for cucumber. <laughs> After a few days' travel into Italia, you discover that Italians really don't want you in their territory. Since it will probably take some time to find Alandora, you are fortifying your army inside a little valley before beginning the search. Hmm. <laughs> and I start with the Angelic Lands. That is amazing. Allows Rampart, Tower, Fortress, Stronghold, and Castle creatures to be mixed without some morale penalty for the player. Casts Expert Prayer at the start of combat. Obviously I don't want to assemble that. So I got that, which also if you disassemble it. It's all the plus to all primary skills artifacts. So I basically get a huge boost to everything. And I really don't care about spell points and power, so it's not quite as useful as it would be for an ordinary hero. For that matter, I could just buy someone like Krellian and give him that, and then he would be an amazing spellcaster. But that said, Yogg is pretty strong with attack and defense already. Oh, yeah, I mean, that would make it so that I would have two strong heroes rather than one very strong hero, which might be preferable. That said, it also would mean that I would need to be careful not to lose the agility lines. And I'm sure that the enemies will pretty strong here. Also, I don't know what the score goes. So let's check it out. Let's want to attack. That's useful. Okay, do I need ore or wood first? Wood or or wooden ore. I have enough ore to build the cliff nest, so I should get wood first. Also, Ladybird of Luck. There seems to be enough things to explore here, so we can get another hero. Problem is, they need pathfinding, otherwise they're not going to do much of anything. So I'd rather wait a bit. And so far I don't have anything to fight, so I will focus on building up an economy. I do want this. If I can get it. Um, I do want that in this week, but I don't really need it on day two necessarily. So I can just go here for now, explore a bit. Let's see what I can find. Also, what is in the warrior tomb? It's also a car for not bad. Also, lots of gnoll marauders carrying some golden barracks. Explore a bit further. So More treasure. Sounds good so far. And I will have a city hall soon enough. 
Journal Entry 12. I sent my scouts out yesterday to search the countryside while I searched the town. But we haven't found any sign of Elendora. Oh, I'm sure you'll find some signs soon enough. At this point, I think I'll have enough experience to get everything in time. This just has a bunch of things to fight. Oh, and there's a quest. So exploring was indeed a good idea. But I will continue exploring next time. See you then.